Hello, and welcome to my Monday. All right, it's one o'clock. Uh, two drivers in, waiting for the last one to get in, then I can pack up and head on out. Um, got a few more things to do in the office, a couple of payments to make, uh, payments to receive, and some invoices to file, and pretty much done, but it's just been a busy morning. Mondays usually are because it's getting back and uh, it's, it's a busier day and uh, Austin's not here. So uh, a lot of go, go, go. And uh, plus my dad's back from his trip from Glen Helen. So been sitting and talking to him and hearing about the race and how things went. The uh, bug lights they put on here, it's super eerie. Like this always reminds me of like something from Saw because it's like metal um, stainless steel tables, right? The, blue, the green light kind of like industrial looking like warehouse, you know? I don't know. I just want to walk in here. I just, that's the first thing I think of is like saw. <laughs> this, is, this is what we're doing, so I'm vlogging it. Mm. Chilling, bitching out. You were, doing some, you were doing some laundry and I was catching with my phone. And then I was getting ready to get up and you jumped on me. <laughs> Stuck. Left overnight, a lot of leftovers from the weekend and even like it's Friday. And then we got some salad kits that we gotta use before they expire. Leftover um, little chicken alfredo. It's like a French blue cheese. There's a tater tot casserole leftovers. It smells good, the burgers smell good. <laughs> num num. I was gonna offer rice this. That's fine. Right. So in case you missed the video from Saturday, I think it was, uh, I said no vlog, but here's a video saying, hey, Q&A time. Just want to throw this out there. I'm going to kind of try and re reiterate this in, in every vlog, but uh, I'm going to start replying to comments just randomly, like certain comments that I feel like I can make a, a short out of, but I'm going to reply to certain comments with YouTube shorts. So don't forget to, uh, if you have a question about something, it's, you know, whatever the question might be, throw it in the comments down below. And, you know, if I find, if I grab it and find like it, it's a good enough question to answer with a video short, I'll do a video short response. Got some leftover cornbread muffins from our chilly night last week. Heated up a little bit of butter. Still waiting for Bryce to come downstairs and let me know if he's gonna finish that salad. If he is, I'm gonna make some more. If he's not, I'll finish that. And then also if he wants any of that, come away and see, we'll see what's up. All right, the boy's back. First day of basketball practice. How was it? Well, I mean, I had Saturday, but like. Oh yeah, wait, I forgot about Saturday, my bad. But like, this one was more like with my own team. Right. The other one was kind of, it was all levels together, kind of. Still like try it was still trials for freshmen, so it was still kind of different. But today was like actual practice. Yeah, first first real practice with your with your team. Yeah, yeah. And you got a new coach, new coach. So right, he's cool. Like he's a cool guy, but like I still gotta feel out his coaching style. Right. Um. See how he is. New, new, something new. So we'll see. A lot, a lot of the same guys that I've known for a little bit. So excited for the season. And when's your first game? November twentieth. Okay, so you got a few weeks of practice. Something like that. Yeah. Gotcha. Far game. Only in Havasu. That's your first game. Mm-hmm. Oh, I guess I'm missing that one. Yeah, we we ended we ended the season in Havasu last year, and now we're starting the season in Havasu. So long drive. All right, then. Tomorrow, we have a field trip. Talk mm -hmm. about that. So it's for HOSA, which um, I've talked about before. What does HOSA stand for? Um, it doesn't really stand for anything anymore. Oh, no, like people think it stands for something, but it doesn't really stand for anything anymore. It's kind of just its own, it's, it's its own word, like a healthcare medical club for high schools. And actually, colleges have it too, but it's really big in high school. Uh, it's all, it's basically just if you want to go anywhere into the medical field, you just it's a good club to be in because there's a bunch of competitions you can compete in. And if even if you're not competing, you're just learning things and you do events and fundraisers and just things to just to learn more and be in the community. So tomorrow we're going to a conference um, in downtown Phoenix. It's uh, called Fall Leadership Conference. It's basically just to learn more about HOSA. And there's, there's like breakout rooms after like the opening like ceremony kind of thing. There's like a little breakout room just to learn different things. Like last year we did uh, like vitals. So just kind of learn how to take blood pressure. Like stuff we've all learned, like we already learned in sports med, but some, some classes or some other schools may have not already learned that. So but yeah, there's a bunch of breakout rooms. You can learn new stuff and then for like an hour, hour and a half, depending on how many you want to go to. And then you go to lunch and then kind of hang out. You did it last year, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. We have a lot more people going this year. Last year it was like only like eight people. We have like almost the entire club, which is like 20 some people. And you guys won state last year, didn't you? 
Yeah, so the, our group of five for Anatomage won state, which Anatomage is like, so there's a bunch of different competitions, like 70 some competitions, but Anatomage is kind of its own little thing. Like you don't have to qualify for it. You just like apply for it and you're in the state, like running kind of. It's basically just this big, like digital, like huge iPad kind of touch screen table. And it has like a human body on it. And it's gonna just ask you a question one by one. Where is this? And you have to click on it on the body, but it can literally be anything in the body down to like, like muscles, nerves, bones, like literally anything in the body anatomy wise. And you have to know it. So like you can have five people at max at, at, the, at the most. And you normally split it up into like different groups, like different areas of the body. So like one person will do like lower leg, one person will do upper leg. Um, one person will do like right side of the body, the other person will do left side of the body. And then one person does like chest and brain or one, maybe, maybe some people do arms and then some does the heart because the heart's kind of like a lot, a lot to it and then some does the brain. But yeah, so our group last year won state, but like they were all seniors. So they're all gone now. And now I'm going to be doing that category. I'm going to be in anatomage. And so I'm, we got to try and win state again. We've won like, since, since this thing's been a thing in Arizona, our school has won it every single year since wow. like 2019. And then they didn't have it in 2020 because COVID. But yeah, on our wall, we have 2019, 21, 22, and 23. So we got to like keep it going. We're the only ones that have ever won state for Arizona. That's awesome. So, but it's going to be kind of hard this year because we're, we're going to be a whole new team. It's not going to be anyone else from the right, last couple of years. Right. We'll see. Yeah. No. See, it's freaking good. Mm. Gummies ruined by crunchy candy. No thanks. Kind of like how I feel about M&M's. Perfectly good chocolate ruined by candy coating. There's a gummy on under though. I said that. It's gummy ruined by hard mm. candy. Bryce is doing homework. Tiffany is scanning receipts. So I just posted a photo on the community tab asking how much Halloween candy do you have left? That's pretty much what we have left of ours. And those are mostly the ones that I saved. Gummies and stuff. There's a few crappy Starbursts at the bottom. Laffy Taffy, pfft, eats those.